All right, we're gonna see if this works. The cutting board that I was talking about. Um, so everything that I use is made by uh, Fiskers, or however you want to pronounce it. Um, but this is the cutting board mat. Um, it's the biggest one I think they carry, but it's you know kind of plasticky, but it's got give to it, so it's it's a self healing. So when you go over the board, you're not constantly cutting through it. Um, so this one's one or 36 inches by 24 inches. <clears throat> the rotary blade, which is what this is, and you'll see the fluted. Let's see if I got this on camera. But you see that's the, that's well, not the best picture, but anyway, it's just a rotary cutting tool and the blade that comes with is just a straight blade and then you have to buy the separate pinking shear blade. Um, and the other thing that you need <clears throat> is a ruler. They sell these at Joann's too. Um, this one is six inches by 24 inches. Um, but this will be your, your guide when you go, when you use, the, use this when you cut the, the fabric. All right. Um, I'm a very number oriented person. So when I cut these, um, I already have my measurements of what I like. So I like 20 inch wide piece of fabric. <clears throat> I already have one edge kind of cut from whatever, but. <clears throat> so when you do this, you line it up on the one side. And then I like it, like I said, 20 inches. So, and you'll see this goes on the outside of each side of the fabric. So you can find the 20 inches. Line the front, top and bottom. And you cut, there's that piece of fabric. <clears throat> so from there, since they need to be square, flip it around so we know this is 20 inches, but we need to make this 20 inches. So I just put it wherever I want to. I'm gonna make this 20 inches wide. Zip. So this side I lined up on the uh, on the 25 mark. So then I'll cut it on the five mark on the other side, which is 20 inches. Oh, that cut didn't go very well. Sorry. Let's try this again. because I'm on a, my arm over on this side. All right, with that, we now have two pieces of fabric. So from there, I fold it diagonally so you have a triangle. Then I'm gonna cut down the center. So what I do is I use the flat straight side, line it up, and then I line it up on a line here down so these this you would stop here for the big dogs because um, it's gonna be you know they're big enough but to get more bang for your buck out of the fabric there's an additional cut that you would do with this <clears throat> so like with how it is now you would only have two two bandanas <clears throat> you cut it again and you'll get four bandanas out of these two that you have. So what I do is I flip it so I have a straight edge on this side. The folded edge is here. Um, I line it up on a line. Let's see. 14. So this is 14 inches, so I want to find the halfway point, which will be 7 inches. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna do that line. And I go to the corner of the fabric down here. And you cut. Now we have four bandanas. We got those. And then for like the bigger dogs with the bigger necks, um, these are the nice ones for that um, because there's more room. So that's it for the big ones. When you get to the smaller ones, so the other piece of fabric that we have, <clears throat> you want to unfold it and then cut that in half. So again, move it to where the triangle points that way. Straight edge down here. Put the tip on one of the lines. Cut that in half. And then from there, you want to fold that in half. And now we're back at the same point with the other ones. So folded edges here, other straight edges here. Final line. I know this one, I want it to be five inches because this is roughly 10 inches. So one, two, three, four, five. Go in that corner, down to this corner. I'm having issues this morning, I'm sorry. And again, we have those little ones with a bit of the fatter neck little dogs and have that if you have like super teeny tiny dogs you can certainly do it again you would take this one just the same thing straight edge down here point on there Pull that in half. I don't do a lot of the really teeny tiny ones, so what is this one? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So then I want at about the three and a half. It should be right there. And those will give you for little teeny tiny dogs. <clears throat> anyway. I'm gonna cut the other one. I hope this helps. Because you get, you know, as you can see, with just that 20 inches, I've got two, four, six, eight little tiny, tiny ones. I've got four for medium dogs. And then of course four, four for the for the big dogs. Hope it helps you. 